there's a microwave and I'm in the wood shop and there is a lot of stuff that I've always wondered what would happen if I put in a microwave so I guess it's time to find out do not try this at home as you guys know they always tell you not to put aluminum foil in there and uh, the reason is I really don't know the reason. I was thinking it was metal, but the inside of this microwave is metal, so I don't think it's the metal. I think it's the reflective surface. As you guys can see, I'm outside, so obviously uh, being very careful. And I have two fire extinguishers as well handy so that if anything was to happen, I can put a fire out immediately. All right, let's get going. I also have my FLIR camera right here so we can monitor heat. So I have a plastic container. So we're gonna start off with a piece of plywood. It's ripped and uh, as you guys know, plywood is laminated and it has glue. So if anything, that glue is going to heat up. Let's see what the temperature is before I put it in there. 87 degrees. So let's stick it in there for about 30 seconds and see what happens. Let's go for a minute. Let me stand over here where the fire extinguisher is at, just in case. All right, so there's the minute. And, uh, oh, there's heat in there. I can feel it. Oh yeah, it's like 230 degrees. So it's pretty hot, but nothing happened. Uh, it looks just normal. Let's put it in there for about five minutes and see what happens. All right, let's go five minutes. Ooh, there's a lot of smoke coming out of there. <laughs> Wow, it's been three and a half minutes. I can smell it. Let's go see what it looks like. Whoa, there's a lot of smoke. It's over 300 degrees in there. So the wood actually, actually did burn. So the wood got hot enough that it started to burn, or at least it turned real black. And of course it melted the plastic because of the heat. So pretty interesting. It was over 300 degrees when I opened it. So, all right, that was interesting. So I guess you can burn plywood with a microwave. All right, let's try something else. All right, so let me get this uh, plywood out of here. Wow, look at this. It literally burnt, it didn't, it didn't make a flame, but it sure cooked. It just crumbles. All right, so that's that. So from what I understand, it's the moisture. The microwave actually works with the water molecule. So that was a piece of plywood. They have a lot of glue in there. This is a solid piece of wood. I really don't know what it is. I think it's uh, oak. I really don't know. But anyway, let's put just the regular hardwood in there and see what the difference is. All right, we're gonna go five minutes as well because that seems to do the trick. And we'll see what happens. Of course, I'm ready with a fire extinguisher just in case. It's been almost two minutes or a minute and a half and uh, it's crackling in there. So something's going on. You guys hear that? Wow, that's a lot of smoke. All right, I'm reaching for the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Again, I don't recommend that you do this. All right, here we go. Whoa, that is a lot of smoke. It's over 200 degrees in there. All right, let me wait for the smoke to clear out. Well. So what's burning or what's melting is the plastic. Well, no, the wood itself is burning. Look at that. So obviously I, there's moisture inside that wood as well. I'm thinking that's what's happening because I don't know if, uh, from what I understand, uh, it's the 
water that actually bounces around and that's what creates the friction to heat up anything. You can definitely <laughs> uh, burn wood with a microwave. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's hardwood or uh, plywood because they both have moisture. All right, let's find something that has no moisture and stick it in there and find out for sure if that's what does it. Let me, I'll be right back. What do we do next? Oh, sawdust. We have some sawdust. Let's, uh, so we already figured out the uh, plywood burns, the hardwood burns. Let's try sawdust because obviously there's hardly any moisture in there. And we got another microwave safe uh, container. So let's go with that. All right, so I got this container full of sawdust. I just went behind the uh, miter saw and got just a few handfuls. Let me put this back in there and we'll try the sawdust. Sawdust going in, five minutes. And we'll see what happens. Again, I'm gonna go get the fire extinguisher. All right, we're down to 13 seconds and I don't see any smoke, so it's looking a lot better. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, oh, there's definitely heat in there. Over 300 degrees. Wow. Uh, it got hot, but it definitely didn't burn. There's a hot spot right in the middle. See, it's got some plastic mixed into it because we cut some uh, plastic forms for concrete countertops, but uh, it looks like there's a spot in there that may have had some moisture. Whoa. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> uh, all right, so there is a, it melted right through right in the middle. So, I don't know what happened. Uh, looks like all the heat concentrated right in the center. And look at this right here. Whoa! <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, I guess uh, sawdust will burn. Even though less moisture. I wonder if there was something in there. The sawdust will catch fire a lot faster than wood or plywood. Uh, I don't know if it was the plastic itself that made it catch fire. It, it definitely had a hot spot right in the middle. But uh, man, this was interesting. So I guess wood will burn with a microwave. So be very careful putting uh, wood handles, anything with a wood handle in the microwave because as you guys saw, it'll catch fire. All right, so now that I have this microwave pretty much ruined, we can't use it for food anymore. I'm gonna keep playing around with it and put more building materials in here and kind of keep experimenting, finding things out and see what burns and what doesn't. So, so far where <laughs> everything has burnt. So uh, anyway, we'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnominiums. <laughs>